Welcome to our next study in American government. In this unit, we're going to be taking a look at the Constitution. We know that there were three founding documents that are very essential to the current United States of America. These documents laid the groundwork for what we are today as a nation. Of course, there was the Declaration of Independence, which was penned by Thomas Jefferson. Uh, that was not a governing document, but it was a declaration of war against Great Britain, uh, laying out all the grievances that the young nation had toward uh, Great Britain. And then there was the Articles of Confederation, considered by some to have been the first constitution of the United States. It was a rather weak document in that it did not provide for a national or executive uh, power, nor did it provide for a federal judiciary. So it was considered very weak, could not resolve a number of the issues that were confronting the uh, young nation at that time, and so it had to be resolved. And then we have the current day constitution. We're going to begin our study by looking at some of the obstacles that confronted this young nation and the framers as they were putting together the constitution. Of course, there was the large state, small state argument over how they would be represented in Congress, and we know the resolution to that is what we call the Great Compromise. Then there was the North and South state uh, argument that uh, dealt with the whole issue of slavery and how that would be resolved, and that was resolved by what we call the Three-Fifths Compromise. And of course, there was a lesser uh, debate that went on, and that was the debate over whether there would be national sovereignty or state sovereignty, and the whole idea of federalism, which we'll talk about in the next unit, was the resolution to that particular issue. We're going to look at the founders and the framers' commitment to limited government and representative government. These were vital for the new nation and were clearly written in the document that we call the Constitution today. So with that uh, brief introduction, let's take a look at the United States Constitution.